So for the next hour, we're going to try out Indoor Lens, which just came out of Steam Early Access, and I'm being sponsored for half an hour of my time via the Twitch bounty board, which means I'm being paid to cover the game for that half hour. But we're going to play it for a whole hour because that's what I do when we try new games. Plus, I think it might be tutorial heavy to start with, so that will give us time to learn a little bit and then also try it out. This has been in early access for a little while, as I understand it, but it did just come out. It's sitting on overwhelmingly positive as of recording, I believe, on Steam or as of streaming. And we're going to jump in now. It does have Twitch integration. I couldn't get it set up. It's using some kind of like backend IRC thing. I, I couldn't get it to work, but it does have Twitch integration and it makes your Twitch chatters who are actively chatting appear as guests in the park. And as I understand it, it's, it's a theme park creator. So let's find out. Now I did briefly jump into the tutorial just to get everything set up. I hope it doesn't skip it. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, here we are. Yeah, the theme is indoor parks, obviously, hence indoor lens. I will teach you all the basics to build a successful park. First, you need to learn to look around your park. That I have covered. I was doing that before the stream. Open the panel in the top right to see your current goals when you've finished. So, there's some like industrial... Yeah, you can zoom in really far. Solar panels, industrial complex, but you can zoom out like very, very far also. And then this is the, I presume this is the entrance to the park here. And then this is where we're going to start building in this kind of general area here. And then there's some farmland over here, which we're going to buy out. Is that a Disney reference? Didn't Disneyland start as farmland? Either way, also we have 500,000 cash in the tutorial, huh? Let's press on this. View your current goal by opening the panel. Done. Move the camera. Done. Rotate with Q and E. That I did not do. Boop. There we go. Build your park. The building menu can be found over here. There will you will find many different types of hall. Never been to an indoor like theme park. Oh, swampland. Okay. We need some halls and hallways. Make sure all the halls are connected with the park entrance, and their sides are not blocked. Okay. So that would be a path then. So build one fries building, a slushy or slush ice building, a nine by nine. Okay, so build a bunch of paths first of all. Let's have sprinkles. I bet, how much more do they cost? Eh, they cost the same. Blue sprinkles and purple. So where am I building off of? This is presumably the car park. And this is the, like the entrance. Let's test. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to just build a... That was an accident. Can I can I undo? <laughs> look, chat, don't be mad at me, okay? The, the part's going to look a little scuffed. <laughs> just a little scuffed. It's fine. There, 20 paths. This is just a tutorial. It's fine. Look, if, if someone happens to do something like that, it's okay. It's fine. It's um, art deco. We need a... Let's build the concession stands first. So that would be in shops, maybe? Buildings? Try that. There we go. Fry's building, 5.5k. Price per customer, $28. Handling time, 6 seconds? Yeah, 6 seconds. Staff cost is 300. Goods and upkeep is also 300, uh, 500 and 200. Greasy. <laughs> Hot. Salty. It's describing Twitch chat. Let's put that right there. That's not got a path to it. I thought it would connect the path. There. So then let's build the slushy building. And we'll put that right next to it. Well, that's better margins. 28 per customer. That's about the same, actually. Cheaper to build the slushy place, though. Popcorn. We're going to put the popcorn over here. Simple. Oh, I need two slushy buildings. Simple. 28 bucks for fries? Yeah, no, that's pretty cheap compared to modern standards, isn't it? Build a balloon store and a horse carousel and pin. What is pins? Let's see here. Oh, there's pins. What? Oh, God. right. It's like Disneyland, so it's the collector pins. I see. Sure, have your pin collecting right there. Balloon store. How do I rotate? CUNY? That's just the camera. Oh, R. There we are. There's your balloon store. It's 64 ounces of fries. That is an acceptable amount of fries. 
Horse Carousel 3x3. Three three. What if I have that like right as the first thing you see? Is that attractive? <laughs> Can I... Oh! I didn't expect to speak so loud. So you can press on rides to understand them a bit better and then build a 9x9 ride hall. Is that this? 9x9? Nine nine? Oh, here we go. What is it that they're riding? Guess we'll see. Oh, right, okay, that's big. Uh, let's have you right there. That's not connected. <laughs> okay, we need some maintenance holes, yeah. And toilets, yep. Don't want people pooping on the floor. There, it's connected. I guess they maybe are just walking in it. Hello, Blight, and anyone else I missed is stopping by. Build two toilet buildings. Maintenance is here, yeah. Oh no, that's manual cleaning. No, I hire people to do that. Where's my other buildings? There they are, maintenance buildings. Turlet. Uh, let's put a toilet, toilet right there. That's probably where people would put them, right? Let's build another toilet and it's going to go right next to the carousel. Because I know I need to pee after going on one of those. Two small cleaning buildings. Small cleaning building on this side of the park as well. Let's rotate that. There we go. Build one small repair building. There. Large holes like your right hole are empty at first and require a bit more fine tuning. Start by select. Oh, that's why it looks so empty. You've got to customize it. Here you can see detailed information about the hole with the blueprint button. You can apply preset decorations or you can do it yourself. Okay, let's do a, a blueprint. Dark City? Oh, cool. No knights here. Ooh, Alpha Base. Challenge winner. I wonder, was that made by a early access player? So yeah, that's the other thing about this. Oh yeah, uh, you should see a thing pop up every 15 minutes or so as well. Or 10 minutes, maybe. But you can make your own rides. Like, it's much more customizable than what I'll show off because I'm I'm not creatively focused like that. But we'll use one of the presets. I kind of I'm, I'm curious what this is about. Like a Gotham City type thing. Let's do that. Oh, it didn't apply. Hang on. Dark City. I, oh, it wants me to enter the hole first. Hang on. Inside the hole, you can customize details, decorate. Oh, right. Okay, so this is the detail mode. Yeah. Well, I would like to apply the blueprint, ideally. Theme. Decorations. This is very customizable. Uh, let's put in a salto. Oh, there we go. Let me check what else I need to do. Apply a blueprint or decoration with 15 popularity. Where's my blueprints? Control ride, theme. Oh, maybe I can apply from out here. You worked at one for a while? Dark City. Apply. Wait, before I want to see if I can ride the ride first. Hang on. Inner hall. That was my favourite part of theme park back in the day. Oh, who, who are you? Are you my employees? <laughs> Control ride. Oh, you can control the speed. That's interesting. So if one of your enemies gets on a ride, you can have an accident. Ride programs? I have no idea what ride program means. I guess you can't ride it right now. Maybe once people are on it. You can change the colours. Oh, and the music. Okay. Wait till it's at maximum speed and then raise the safety bars. Open your entrance panel by clicking on your park or on the flags on the left. The park is closed. Ticket price, your park, feedback, finances. 
Oh, click to switch statue. Oh. Now I want to open the park though. Apparently I have. Set park capacity to 100%. Oh, there we go, yeah. Zoop. To the left you see the attractivity of your park. Attractiveness, should that not be? The amount of visitors your park will attract corresponds to this value. To the left. Somewhere on the left. Oh, up there it was highlighting it, right there. Oh, look at them all. They're all bouncing in. You seem nice. I hate to so kill you. So you can build more transportation capacity. Thank you very much, Anne Caligon, for resubbing again. Welcome back. And thank you for hanging out. You'll be back more as soon as your project ends. Time, time's going too fast. I want to have five visitors that are 50% more or more happy. So yeah, you can build a bigger car park down here as well. This space is for, but we don't need to do that right now. So they just look like little dots here, but then if we go in, sorry, into the big hall here, then we'll see them as actual people. Yeah, I added a few new sub alerts that are Overwatch themed to try and cut down on a number of rare Tamas. I want to see people. Oh, here we go. They're riding it. Did you see that, Zach? I'm not going to try and kill them right away, but I'm not saying I never will. <laughs> Hello, Gooksy. Thank you very much for using your Twitch Prime as well. I, I couldn't find a way to ride the ride, but I'm waiting here to see it. Oh, we have multiple cameras. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, we don't need to do that camera until... Well, what's the third camera? I see. <laughs> Hello. We'll just stick with the one until the ride's actually going, and then we'll, we'll hop in a chair. Look how long this line is. Where's the fast pass? You need to manage, like, every... Like, if you want to get into the minutiae, you build the ride yourself. That's I think that's their angle, that's like their unique selling point, is the amount of customization you can have over your rides and whatnot. You build them from the ground up if you want to. If you don't want to, you can do what I did, which was apply a blueprint. Yeah, let's let's speed up time here for a bit. Okay, the first passengers are getting on. Although to me hang on, the ride's going when no one's in it. That's wasting my money. Okay, I'll be in it then. People do this for fun? This is this is what people do for fun. They they get thrown around like this. I should have done the space theme if I'd known this is what this does. Up the speed percentages. What of the ride itself? Can I do that while I'm on it? Oh, I absolutely could. I d I don't want to touch any of this until I'm told to, just in case I do accidentally kill someone. So that is just the... Uh, oh god. Yeah, that's it. It just spins around in two different ways. Ugh. Notifications? No notifications. Fair enough. Those, I was going to say those poor saws, but there's no one on board currently, so it's fine. But those poor saws... They're all training to be astronauts, it's fine. Okay, sorry, back to what I was supposed to be doing, because I, I just wanted to see the ride. We only have... we don't have very many happy visitors, huh? Well, what if I threw in... some more... Did it want me to add more car parking space? Is that what I wanted? There's some attractiveness. There. And then let's add a... A path going out here for when I have to build. Oh, when we have to build more rides. There we go. It's important that you keep the demands of your visitors in mind. Let's start by opening the visitor panel. Here you see all the demands and reactions of your visitors. Let's see if we can understand this. Prizes, entertainment, shopping, greasy, kid friendly. Let's try looking at some people. You can find the visitor tool over here. Over here. The park impression isn't very good, even though the happiness bar is pretty decent. 
Look at the visitor with the visitor selection tool. Where is the visitor selection tool? Oh, probably this. There it is. I'm going to look at you. Okay. Patience, park impression, 40%. What do they dislike? Q time, probably. They also desperately need the toilet. Seeing dirt, or. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Can also directly influence the amount of their demands by changing the ticket prices. Click on your entrance to change that. Got it. We did that before. Oh, get off this tool. There we go. The ticket price is one penny or one dollar. They should not be complaining. Changing it to yellow or red doubles or triples their demands. It can be lucrative to price the tickets as high as possible, but be prepared for very demanding visitors. Okay, well, someone was unhappy there. Set the ticket price to at least 10 money. The money is called money. 10 money. There you go. There's now 10 money to get in my park. Chat, you can afford 10 money. First need to earn some research points. I did see that there was a research thing to build. Okay. That was in here? In here. Yeah. 37 and a half money, huh? We don't need the research thing to be near people, presumably, so... Let's just bung it over here. Did you see that, sack? Look, I know it doesn't match. Get over it. <laughs> Thank you, Dwarven Monkey Wrench, for resubbing with Twitch Prime. And you're very welcome. Rock and Stone to you, too. Generate one research point. I will. I think that just happens over time, right? Not allowed to do that yet. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Um, I guess you can't ride this one. It's making a lot of money, though. New notification. Many disliked Super Thirsty. Yeah, I can build more... Slush Ice. Oops. There, that enough ice for you? <laughs> Hello, Noah. Can you rename the guests? Just, what, subjugate their will and just... Sure, let's see. Uh, Dorothy Trump. Could you go on this ride real quick? No, it doesn't seem like you can. You can rename the rides and stuff, though. I don't know, honestly. None of this matters. Hey, thank you, Lojack, for the protection money. You got one of the rarer on-screen visual thingies. He accepted a new job with a bug raise. I know what you meant, but I'm choosing to believe that's literal. So thank you. Also, your uh, super chat on YouTube had to be approved, and I have no idea why, because you didn't say anything bad. Chat, did I miss something? Like, why am I not generating a... Uh, Generates research by pulling... Oh, they have to walk by it! That's the part I missed. I thought it was like a guy with a test tube. Okay, hang on. I'll build another one. I knew it wasn't doing something because nobody goes over that side of the park. And suddenly... Progress. I think I might have crushed like four people there. This should generate. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this building was a waste, but that, that's why we do a tutorial with it. a ridiculous amount of money. It lets you test stuff. No, they're not spying. They're pull- wait. Oh no, now they can't get into the rights. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Sell. There. They can get back in the right. <laughs> it's fine. Many just like have to wait. Get used to it. It's a theme park. Okay, we should be almost there. That's, that's going slower than I thought it would be. Let's move the other one if we can so that we can get some foot flow. Let's adjust hall placement and bung this up. 
here. Because that'll force people to come and have a look. Like, the pathing is just a little scuffed. Only a little, though. And then we go over here, move this building, adjust hull placement. And then presumably, people are going to be walking across this to see this art installation. Just give me access to another ride. Entertainment halls, just another carousel. We're going to run out of money if I do that, though. Theme park with all pig related rides could be called a theme park. Pork. Okay, let's speed up time. Okay, the research is quite slow. It's getting there though, halfway. I wonder if that's counted across both. No, it absolutely isn't. It's only seen three visitors, this one's seen 54. Yeah, there's the pop up appeared if you are curious. I think it will take you to the Steam page. It might be on Epic as well, I'm not 100% sure. Many dislike dirty. Have more cleaning buildings, okay. I also dislike dirty. Just have that right at the front of the, the place. I wonder if there's a way to see like the area of effect of these buildings. Blightlands paid his pun tax. He paid it afterwards, which isn't cool, but that's okay. Okay, we're almost there. Speed up again. So it's gonna—it looks like it's gonna take a hundred visitors to generate the first point, roughly speaking, or maybe exactly speaking, actually. Yeah, it's gonna be a hundred. Two more. There. That should be it now, right? Or maybe 101? There we go. Now we need to open the research panel. Click on that. I just did. There it is. Open your research panel by clicking on the left. Unlock one research node. Oh, is there a skill tree? Oh, there is. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Blaine, for the bits. I have no idea what I want to get. What is this? Oh. Milkshakes, waffles, warehouse and sweets and chaos? What? Name chaos. Capacity 32. I guess it's a, a ride. Someone tell that Final Fantasy guy we found it. Unlock for five. And we had ten. Fun for everyone. Duck fishing, rope course, gyroplane. Ooh. Neat. Falafel stand. I want the fun for everyone, I think. Oh, let's have a look at this. Bigger and better. I can't afford them yet. Okay, let's get fun for... Oh, I can't. I have to get... Alright, I have to get park essentials. Does that make sense? There we go. The main way to adventure park is milestones. They correspond to visitors at your park, attractivity, and visitor level. Well, the first two happen automatically. If you increase your numbers, the visitor levels require your visitors to have a good park visit. Okay. Uh, let's see. It didn't show me where to get the rewards. Oh, they're just there. Ding! So that's five research and 25 grand. Same again. Same. Oh, what's this? New restaurant available. Okay. From time to time, you will be offered contracts. These require you to fill certain, fulfill certain conditions. But reward you with either money, research, or sometimes timed boosts. Sometimes there will also be devil contracts. Excuse me. These will damage or hinder your park in some way, but will also reward you. Choose why this game has deals with the devil. Oh. Upgrade three buildings for 50 minutes or create... 10 tags of type vegetarian. 
Um, oh, that makes people much more patient. I'm, I'm going to upgrade three buildings. That seems simple. I got two achievements for that too. You now know how to effectively build and manage a park, but now you're on your own. Good luck. So we probably could leave the tutorial, but I want to at least try and do these. Bring your park to attractive score of 320. I mean, isn't it already beautiful? Accumulate total visitor, visitor experience of 300. Have 180 visitors. The rate at which thirst is generated is increased. Circus is trending plus one demand. Okay. The notification. Oh, one of my rides is explodinated. Repair. Repair. Repair the balloon stand. It's on fire. Also, upgrade stuff. I'm not... The show didn't tell me how to upgrade anything. I'm just... I'm seeing if I can see a button here, but I don't think so. Let's just try and build another big ride, because I want to start my own from scratch, obviously. Let's bring that along here. That here. Oh, the arrow probably means it's done enough to upgrade, if I had to guess. Select a new upgrade. Solar panels to reduce upkeep to zero. Star Chef. A star Chef at a popcorn cart? Or new weight wares at a popcorn cart? Upkeep cost for this is 190. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Solar panels it is. So that's the first upgrade. We have 13 minutes to get more. Rides can be. Uh, why are these not being repaired though? Oh, I can hold this button down. Okay, I, I was I tried tapping it before and it didn't work. You have to hold it just to keep you busy. Oh, quality up when the upkeep of this is what 140 or increased park impression in radius. Let's let's do the shiny facade actually. So we need some attractiveness, so that's probably this kind of stuff. Can I s well, maybe use a smaller one? No, you know what, we could probably fit this in, right? I mean, it goes nowhere, but that's probably fine. Put a milkshake stand. Oh, that's a very, very large milkshake, milkshake stand. And a waffle stand. Best waffles in all of Insert Town here. <laughs> you can go in here and see the rocks. Not the rock, the rocks. Yeah, but it absolutely does. Pins, sweets. We didn't build a sweet shop yet. We try and encourage them over to this side of the park. It probably will not do good business there, but whatever. Let's build one more, like, proper... Well, we can build another carousel, I guess. Duck fishing darts... Playground can throwing. Claw game. Boat simulator, go karts. Labyrinth. Who was the big rides again? Oh yeah, here. I had access to a roller coaster. Uh hmm. The roller coaster is a lot larger than the area in which I'm Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, so close. It's too big by one. Okay. Now, could I destroy enough of this park to get this built? <laughs> if I destroy everything I just built up here, just so we could test it. The tutorial didn't really teach me how to delete stuff, though. Or demolish. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, bin. Here we are. Yes. Goodbye, waffle stand. Goodbye, sweets. Now, 
I will have my... There. Uh... ha <laughs> Oh, let's also upgrade that building to finish the thing I took. Handling time down or capacity? No, let's uh, increase how much it's making the... Oh, it broke down before I could select it. Improve the overall status of this. Blueprints. Wow. That's pretty cool looking. Dynamite. Also cool. Okay. Fancy tour. <laughs> Galaxy uh, Galactic Launch. Ooh, fancy. Mission Mercury. Samurai. Valhora. City Runner. Challenge Runner. So this was made by a player, I guess. Okay. Legends of Steel Dragon. Ooh. Phoenix Pirate. Okay. Uh, I think that I like the look of the well, the blue one, which was what Galax Galactic launch. Yeah, let's try that one. That cost most of my money. Got to take a look at this one. It's larger, so it's probably taking... Oh, there we go. There's already people coming in. There's a flowing cube. There's four cameras. So that's in the ride. That's looking at them being in the ride. And that's kind of just in the middle, I guess. We'll, we'll take the front seat and we'll wait for the ride to start. <laughs> They're already replacing humans. Oh, we're just going. All right, enjoy. If you put your hand up there, it's going to get clipped by that spaceship. Okay, now it's getting faster. Uh, you went through a pipe there. I saw that. Oh god! <laughs> okay, you clicked through quite a bit of scenery unless we're just really, really tall, I suppose. Everyone just needs to sign a wave. A wafer? A wafer. Although, what can I influence? Oh, I'll wait until the ride's over, but I'm curious what I can influence on this. Cause... Oh, is that us back at the. Yeah. Oof, that end bit's awkward too. What can we change here? Restraints closed. <laughs> Look, we're about to leave the tutorial anyway, so let's just get a, a wider view. Can I dive free cam? I don't have free cam. Yeah, this will be the perfect view. Wait for it to fill up, wait until we're mid-right, and then just tap this button real quick and see what happens. Warning not opened. Oh, open the ride. Open the exit. Open the entrance. Open. Open. Hacker voice, they're in. You can actually just like run the rides. So then we're going to close restraints. Oh, you have to, it's forcing me to do it in order. Close restraints. Start. Not closed. Closed. Start. And then we're just going to hover over this button. We're going to wait until it hits that bit where it starts going faster. Just for science. No other reason. Okay, it's starting to go faster. 
Oh, I wouldn't let you murder them. <laughs> Probably turn it off mid right. Oh. Okay, that makes no difference since they're they're mid right. Okay, so it's, it won't let you pointlessly murder your guests. Mm -hmm. They're enjoying it. I wonder if you can build a haunted mansion type thing and ride that. That was always my favourite thing in theme park. Build the haunted house and ride and go on it. <laughs> it does do that, yeah. See, they love it. I should have checked what the, the price is for that. How much are they charging for this kind of thing? Uh, attractivity, upkeep costs. Jesus, almost. Oh, that is 8,500. Wow. I bet it attracted a bunch of people, though. Let's see. Alright, we did that one easily enough. There you go. Got a bunch of research. Look at all that stuff. We got a hippie? You unlock the new visitor type hippie, those visitors will have new demands. Show them the door. Immediately grants 100,000 money. <laughs> Neat. Oh, I can press on these too. We have so much stuff. Bring up the research menu. Immediately give 100,000 money. Yeah. Give me a hundred thousand money. Sure, why not? Description question marks. It gives you a bus terminal. What is this? That's parking. Park capacity plus a hundred? Sure. Plus a hundred? Sure. You better believe I do that. Price and quality. Oh, there you go. So you have to unlock the ability to do that kind of stuff. Price is up by 25%. Yep. Uh, quality influence, yep. Cannot unlock. Oh, I've how many do I have now? Eight. We're almost at nine. Okay. Well, let's spy on some random people's opinions. What about you, Richard King? Park compression is zero percent. Oh, he's a hippie. And he just got here, I think. Susan Lewis. 28%? Have you not seen how well made it is? Oh, the balloon shop's down. That's clearly the only reason that anything is wrong. <laughs> Get a gerb, indeed. Sure. Oh, I've already done that. Is there any other building? Oh, this is... Okay, these can be upgraded too. Park impression, quality influence, or upkeep reduced. Let's go quality influence. Let's go decreased wear and tear. Can this upgrade? That's 77%. Oh, the car park is full. Yeah, I presume you can only increase it by buying those upgrades because I don't see an option to like build more. Unless it's here somewhere. Doesn't seem like it. Unless it's, no, this is just ticket price. I'm going to up my ticket price to uh, 20. I doubled my prices because I added a cool roller coaster. Oh, choose your next contract. This this is an alien. I have 50 visitors without the negative reaction board. Sure, I'll try that. How could they be bored when they have balloons and carousels and a super, super popular roller coaster? Where did I see how much cash this has made me? Utilization 12 out of 20? It doesn't seem that high considering what it cost me. There was a devil contract. I wanted, I wanted the alien contract. Done. It's 50 grand right there. Oh, and we got more research too. 
Don't give us 10. Oh, we're at 23? 200k just like that. I want more rides, ideally. Because this is an easier way to see them than if I'd start from scratch again. But it's mostly... What is this? This is building cost. Okay, let's get the influence. And we don't need to worry about that yet. We're at 30% towards that already. Let's pull back. What a strange place for a park though, between like solar panels, factories and a farm in a desert. I guess that might be on purpose for the tutorial. But we are still going to carry on for another 20 minutes here, but if you're just here to support the sponsored section of the coverage, that is going to conclude it. Thank you for doing so, but we are just going to play for the full hour. Hope we got a new notification. Many dislikes have to wait bored and dirty. How can you be bored? There's a cool roller coaster. More price? Yeah, let's just have the solar panels. Let's have the nice wares for patience. They're horny for the wares. Let's have the solar panels. Didn't something else upgrade there? If I move that slightly to the side, I think I could have another one so we could try the other ride type out. I think this... Oh, no, I think that was just in the skill tree. I don't think I got the right call that. Let me just get that real quick. 35 grand. Oh, that's awkward. Um, hmm. Well, if I put it up here... Like that. And then I can have another one here, I think. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Whoops. Hang on. It's always one back more than I think it is. There we go. They even sync up. And in this one, we're going to adjust the blueprint and we're going to have this be... Hmm. I think no knights here. But then we have to go inside it and add an actual right. And I'll add the other type that was available. Which was... Oh, we have a few now. Oh, we do have Chaos Unlocked. Well, I built uh, Salto before, so we have Crown and we have Chaos. I didn't think it instantly build. Crown is just that. Chaos is... I don't even know what this does. Well, we build this just to see what it does, because that one's kind of obvious. Launcher, Eagle, Swing, Machine, Pendulum, Circus, Bouncer. Embrace Chaos? Sure. New notification. Let me see this. What is it that you would say you do? Oh, you can look around during this too. Here come the people. Oh, we're going. The safety bars are coming down. Yes, hello. Could you lower my safety bar, please? Thank you. Now get out. Also, you're fired. Okay, what is this doing? It's, uh... Is this just the teacups but rebranded? Is that what this is doing? It's going to get much faster, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no, it's, it's, it's raising and lowering too. That's not quite the same. <laughs> you want to get off. I want to get off. Spin the wheel? I don't know how to spin the wheel. Wasn't that like 90% of these rides anyway? Must go faster. Must go faster. Can I make it go faster? It looks like it's at 100%. There's a break though. Hmm. <laughs> 
I think they started to move a bit closer to the middle as well at some point. <laughs> I'm actually looking away, it is it is nauseating. I have to know how long it lasts though. Although it might last forever if I'm in there. Hang on, let's change camera real quick. Does this have free cam? Oh, this is free cam! So it's kind of like, uh, it is like the teacups, but it's got an additional layer of spin thanks to the central bit. It's currently activated with nobody. Turn the brake on. Get customers on immediately. Warning me not be above zero. Get the ride off. Get people on board it immediately. Open. 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 Brake is on. Get on my right. I want to see you die. I mean, good luck everyone, embrace chaos. I'm sure this will go fine as I drop something on the floor. There it is. Yes, get on to your doom. Everything will be fine. I want to see if they spin it. This one's got to fill up and then we're done. Yeah, you're not allowed to share. You, you two, get it, get in there. Bring the bars down. Oh, right, close the entrance first. Close the exit. Bring the bars down. You're not, you're not gonna get off of this one. Breaks off. And perish. Oh yeah, they look, they are spinning it independently. Some of them are spinning it more than others. That man's dress is tingle. She put his brain. Why is the ride not going? Oh, right. Zoop. Zoop. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like maximum speed. Cross engine, main engine. Oh, so the main engine is how fast this is spinning. The cross engine is how fast they individually are spinning. So I turned that down. Yeah, they're spinning less. If I turn this down, there the circle itself spinning less. Then that can go up. Really just mess with their equilibrium. <laughs> spinning, spinning towards freedom. <laughs> spinning! Oh, so close. Alright, I'm sure that bright can handle itself if I just go back outside. I'm going to quickly fill in that so we get 100% then we're going to look at how a normal game starts and then that'll do. So... Attractiveness, that means like, let's just improve the... What is this here? Hub halls. Not really got anywhere I can put one of these that's conductive or conducive to. Uh, what about another cleaning station? That'd keep things tidy. Put another toilet there real quick. Those are always notoriously clean. And a small building and small warehouse. Oh, that affects the shops that's nearby. Interesting. So many things are broken. I should have people for this kind of thing. Maybe it's outside of the radius of the maintenance buildings.
How will anyone have a slushy if their slushy machine is broken down? I think that just made me do the mission. Yep. New research available, Apocalypse. Okie dokie. What's this? Oh, the unlocks. Oh, right, it's... It's scenery elements themed around the apocalypse. This is for you customising your own rides. Skeletons! <laughs> Attractiveness of this skeleton is one. It is not an attractive skeleton. Yeah, so if you really want to get into the customization of your rides, this has a lot of stuff. I'm usually not into that, like, that kind of level of micromanagement, but if you're creative... Yeah, we can see some of them were used on this. They're, like, there's that gun right there. Attractiveness 2. Is this a destroyed Winnebago? Cheer! That's the one Virgil sits in. Oh! Oh, there is devil contracts! You're right, they're devils! Questionable research data. Lose 20 research but immediately gain 50% building. Okay. All toilets break down. Upgrade all level 0 buildings to level 1. Sure! have quality assurance. Oh, the it's shot into space. Don't poop on my floor. I'm, I'm repairing the toilets. Don't do it. It's fine. Park radius. Park impression. Just go full park impression build. Give them the facade of it being useful. Decreases wear? Nah. Park, park shininess. For sure. I like that that's... I don't think that's supposed to still be there. Even though, well, it probably is because I'm pressing on a toilet. But it makes it look like it's describing the park itself. And honestly, that's very fair. All right, well, let's see what an actual, like, bog standard start looks like. Let's go back to the main menu. Well, let's save the park, why not? Yeah, let's go back to the main menu. Let's see what the options are. So we want a new park. Oh, no, you can just, like, straight up create rides from here, too. And you can see on this menu here what some of them can look like as well. The standard way to play, build your economy, manage your resources, research new content and keep visitors happy, or a full sandbox. Let's try career. Ah, okay. What a weird assortment of locations. A park in the middle of a desert, one or two skeletons in some dead land, or the Arctic. Polar bears, only to seek sour, not to have fun or an end. Wasteland or Arctic chat. Just for a brief look. You could have a western theme park in the wastelands. I mean, it is all indoors, but still, it's just, it's odd. So it's, I think that's three wasteland to two snowland. Okay, wasteland it is. You want to see that? Buy it for yourself. As I say, this was in early access. It's just released 1.0. Uh, what is the, the price of it on Steam? see so oh it is it's literally the same size of building area here presumably you can expand though what's over here what's this uh what is this i'm uh, like a aid station or something because the these like the circus tents are throwing me off here 15 19 in US dollars. 
Oh, it's on sale from its normal $18.99 in dollars. Okay. Is that, that's ribs, I think. So it seems like you get that same playing area at least to start the uh, the career mode. But this all looks like eventually you get into buildable areas here. I imagine eventually you have a massive park. I guess this is just where you get the power and your water and whatnot, and that's why you start next to this stuff. Hmm. I think you can customize your name and stuff, can't you? Uh, what's this? Oh, you can do more than that. You can just like. Oh, what about change name to Flix Gaming stuff? Just to try. I want to. Oh, it's okay. Flix Gaming Street. Sure. We'll be having that in blue with maybe like an accented blue there. Indoor land. Oh, it doesn't read the name there. That's a shame. What else can you customize? Ticket price. What is this? Revenue. Feedback. Let's see here. All right. I, I meant to do that. This is what we call pretzel building. Supporter pack comes with the ability to name a VIP who can be in anyone's park. Oh cool, it's kind of like what Prison Architect did. Um, this, this pretzel is slightly defective. Hang on a minute, these two sides don't match. Hmm. Hmm. That's probably fine. No, the Ballad of Tentafu is not in this. I'm just I'm laying down some groundwork for what pattern was I using? It was this pattern. You've gotta to remember to read wait, I'm not seeing this pattern though. That's just a flat colour. Hmm. Feature. Oh, there you go. So if you select colours, it overrides your choice of pattern. Christmas presents. Interesting. I guess that increases decorate. What is this? I don't know what that is. Flowers, maybe? It's beautiful. This is where you can keep the children if you want to go on the rides. These are gun turrets. Uh, this is a, some kind of cake. Oh, that's what you find in the middle of the maze if you get into the correct area. It's larger than I thought it was. And that's how you create an indoor pond, I guess. I actually spent all my money. <laughs> We call them daycare centers, I call them prisons. Those are fortune cookies, but you're never allowed to touch them because you have no future. Alright, well that is going to do it for an hour of Indoor Lens, if you want to go check it out. It's definitely a very chill experience and much like other park creators, but the special thing here is you're not just able to build your ride, you're able to customise every facet of them. You can even just spend your time being the control operator if you want. So it offers a little bit of something for everyone who wants to explore every facet of having an indoor... I wasn't even aware of the concept of an indoor uh, park that had this kind of ride. There, that's more my speed. One of those kind of slower moving posters. And this at the back here gives you an idea of some of the stuff you can make. And you can make your own as well. I'll bung the link to the Steam Store page in the description box below if you want to go check it out. Feel free to do I enjoyed it. And yeah, I think that about covers it. I need to fill 20 more seconds though for it to be an hour on the dot, otherwise people will complain at me. So... Uh, hmm. How has your day been? No, don't answer. There's not enough time for me to hear you say anything. Sorry. <laughs>